Today I'd like to share with you some important information about the use of squeegee pressure when we're applying a wrap film. Now everyone knows that uh, a good wrap film is slidable or repositionable. Uh, when you touch the surface you can actually slide it around to reposition it before you actually apply it. But as soon as you do apply a bit of pressure, it does start to adhere and actually bond to the surface. But what a lot of people don't fully appreciate is actually the importance of applying good firm pressure to make sure that we do get good adhesion to the surface, especially in areas where the film is under some stress, where we've stretched it into a recess or perhaps around a, a compound curve. And just to demonstrate that, I'm going to take a piece of uh, a film, this is a 1080 black carbon fibre, and I'm going to apply it to this uh, sheet of clear acrylic. So I'm just going to lay it down on the surface there, and I'm actually going to use the cotton glove. A lot of people do use this when they're uh, working on a vehicle. Uh, and I'm just going to use the glove to apply that film to the acrylic. Working out any air bubbles. Okay, so that's all good. So you can see there, applied to the acrylic. But what I'm going to do now is actually, I'm going to take my squeegee, and uh, using a gold squeegee here with, um, uh, with a low friction sleeve on it, I'm actually going to re-squeegee one half of this piece of film, but I'm going to use really good firm pressure. So just one half, I'm going to re-squeeze it, and I'm using probably about five or six kilos of force. And just that, one half. Now, you probably notice that it doesn't really make any visible difference to this side of the film, but what you will see, if I flip it over so that we can see the adhesive side through the clear acrylic, you'll actually notice a major difference between these two halves of the film. So on this side where we use the glove, you can see that we've got significant silvering on this side. And silvering indicates that there's an air gap between the surface and the adhesive. So the adhesive is not actually contacting our substrate, and therefore we haven't actually got very good adhesion. Whereas on this side, you can quite clearly see that we've got none of that silvering, we've got much better contact, and therefore much better adhesion. Okay, so we can see from the adhesive side that applying that good firm pressure is really critical if we want to get good adhesion of the film, again, particularly in those areas where the film is under stress, such as in recesses. Now, when we are first applying the film, we usually focus more on getting the film to look good, and no bubbles, no wrinkles, no creases. Uh, and many people will use the cotton glove or they'll use the felt block squeegee for that part of the process. But after you've applied the panel, you've trimmed out your edges, we then do need to go back and make sure that we apply really firm pressure to the film to get that good adhesion. Now, at that stage, you really do need to use a, a squeegee that does have quite a firm edge. Uh, but one problem that you, people do run into with that, at that stage is that if you do use a, a very firm squeegee, uh, you can run into the problem of causing scratches in the film, particularly if you're using a, a high gloss film uh, or a matte film or even textured film like this uh, black carbon fiber. Now, if that's the case, sometimes you need to resort to, to other tools. In particular, with those sensitive films like the glosses or the, or the textured ones, actually using a hard rubber roller uh, can be a great tool. And we'll just show that on the, uh, on the carbon fibre bonnet. Now these rollers, they have a very hard rubber compound on them, so they're quite solid, so they will transfer the force to the, to the film. And I actually purchased them from an art supplies company. Uh, they're used for mounting the prints. But what they do not let us do is actually work it on the surface and apply really firm pressure to that film. And because it's a roller, we're not dragging it over the surface, so we're not actually going to cause any scratches. So they're very, very uh, good for those delicate films like the high glosses or, or the matte finishes, because they allow us to use that good firm pressure without causing any damage to the film. I got them in two sizes, the slightly the 50 millimeter one for good for detail areas or the larger 100 millimeter one, which is good for larger, uh, larger spaces. But a very, very handy tool to have in your toolkit uh, because it uh, helps us avoid damaging the, the film that we've just spent all the time applying. Now another area where it can be very difficult to apply firm pressure with a squeegee is if you're working film down into the recesses, uh, say on a, on a van window. Uh, it can be very difficult to kind of work the squeegee down into those recessed areas while applying that wood firm pressure. So a very useful tool for those sort of areas is a hard rubber roller like this one. Uh, what this allows you to do is basically apply a firm pressure right in the corner of that recess, and, and that's a really important area to get it right in the corner, push down really firmly and run that roller along that recess to 
to get that really good adhesive contact. And again, we're trying to apply at least that sort of five or six kilos of force right in the bottom of that corner uh, to make sure we've got uh, really good adhesion because that is the area that's most likely to, for the film to, to lift. So apl applying firm pressure to the film is a really important part of the wrap process. After we've trimmed out our panels and before we get onto the post heating stage, we need to go back and apply that firm pressure to our film to make sure we've got good adhesive contact to the surface, especially in the areas of the film that are stressed, such as recesses or around curves. And we need to be applying at least about five or six kilos of force. So we need to use either a firm edge squeegee or if we're working with a more delicate film, perhaps a hard rubber roller for big flat areas uh, or this style of roller if we're working inside those deep channels on a band, say for example. <coughs> Anyway, this has been uh, Chris Cook from 3M Commercial Graphics. Uh, thanks for watching, and once again, if there's any questions or comments, uh, please uh, post them below. But uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.